Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prints tutorials. This is Kira and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we get a lot of questions from people asking us like how to find tutorials or uh, how to find product links and things like that. So we thought we would go ahead and do a quick little tutorial on how to navigate YouTube and just sort of find everything that you're looking for in case maybe you're new to YouTube or you just aren't sure where to find things, maybe this will help out a little bit. Um, there will be timestamps for this video, which we will be going over what timestamps are and all of that, um, but if you need to skip around, that will be the best way to sort of find exactly what you're looking for. So we will get to that in just a little bit. Um, but to begin, I'm going to start like right at the very beginning for anybody who might be new to YouTube. So to get started, we're going to youtube.com. And going up to the sign in here, this is where you can sign into your account. If you haven't created one already, you can just click this and it will automatically take you to a page where you can use your Google account to sign in um, and kind of create an account here. And that'll be really good if you want to subscribe to channels and be able to follow content and creators that you enjoy, such as My Porch Prints. So uh, make sure that you sign into an account if you haven't already. So once you're signed in, things are going to look a little bit different than they do for me right now because I'm using a guest login. Um, on the left side, you will see like a whole bunch of things listed out here. Um, you can go to your subscriptions to see like videos that are uploaded by channels you're subscribed to only, um, if that's something you're interested in. Or you might even have like a list of playlists here that you can access. Uh, we'll talk about playlists a little bit later, but that's kind of where those will live. Then uh, on the main homepage here, there is going to be a search bar at the very top. And this is kind of kind of be like the important thing for us. So whenever you're looking for a video, you might uh, type in something like, for example, if you're looking for the My Porch Prints page, you can just type in My Porch Prints and it'll bring up not only the channel, but also a bunch of the recent videos or popular videos uh, that we have been uploading for our channel. So it's pretty much relevant to whatever you search for. Um, but you can also search things like uh, maybe junk journal tutorials like this and it'll bring up a whole bunch of different creators and tutorials like that. Um, you might want to try things like Junk Journal Ephemera and you'll get different results depending on the search terms that you use. So just kind of type in whatever you're looking for and it should come up for you. Okay. Now let's say that you found uh, a video or a channel that you actually want to take a look at closer. You can just click on any video that you want to see or if you just like mouse over it, it'll show you like a little bit of a preview of what the video is. So you can kind of get a look at it and see like, is this actually something that looks helpful to me or not? Um, and that will kind of give you a better idea of what you're about to watch. And then uh, if you want to find a channel, you will usually see channels listed at the top like this. And so we're going to go ahead and click on this big uh, channel icon here. And that's going to take you right to the channel homepage. Okay. So this is the My Porch Prince channel homepage. Um, we do have like a channel trailer up for anybody who's new. You can look at that and kind of get an idea about what the channel is for. Um, there's always like the channel name and some details about the channel information. Um, we're going to go over everything on this page in a little more detail here. So a couple of really important items on the channel homepage. Um, everything is going to be listed under these tabs right here that you can see. Um, so there's of course the main homepage that we're already on. If you click on videos, it'll take you to all of the videos under that channel that have ever been posted. So you can see that we have quite a few videos here and you can just scroll through and find anything that you are looking for. And at the top, you can see that they have them sorted out by latest, popular, oldest. So you can kind of find whatever you're looking for just under these tabs. And if you're looking for a very specific video, we're actually going to come all the way over to the very end of these uh, like section headers. And there's this little search icon. Now this search is different than the large search at the very top. The large search is going to show you 
any and all videos from any and every creator on YouTube that has to do with whatever you put into it. Uh, this search down here though is only pertaining to this particular channel. So you can search for, let's say you want to look up Brad Binding. If you type that in and hit enter, it'll bring up any and every video that might have to do with Brad Binding or Binding or Brad's, um, anything like that and kind of show you like relevant videos to what you're looking for. So we get a lot of people who are like, oh, I've been looking for this video and can't find it. This is gonna be the easiest way. Now, a quick note, I am gonna be going over um, how you use like the mobile app to search through YouTube in a little bit here, but something to note, this search function is not available on the mobile app as far as I'm aware. Um, when you go to the page, you can't, it doesn't show this little search. So I think for now it's only on desktop. So if you're trying to find a very specific video, uh, if you're on mobile, the best thing to do would be to go to the big search bar and type like my porch prints, Brad binding, and that should get you what you're looking for. Back to the tabs here, um, after videos comes shorts. So shorts are kind of a new thing on YouTube that they've been kind of rolling out recently, um, taking off in popularity because they are uh, videos that are under a minute long. And usually for hours specifically, we're kind of giving you um, just like a little sneak peek at what we're doing, what we're working on um, on the channel, upcoming videos or videos that have just released. So if you kind of want to get like a small idea of um, like what we are doing, you can always click on a short and kind of just see if this is something you would be interested in checking out. And with shorts, when you click on them, they are a little bit different than regular YouTube videos. For one thing, they are on a loop. So when they end, they'll just start playing all over again. All right. And their layouts are a little bit different. So you've got the play and pause button up here. You've got your volume up here. Um, you have the description of the video down here, as well as the subscription button, uh, if you'd like to subscribe. And then there is the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, share. And then this little button right here is gonna be kind of important. So let's say you see this product and you really want to buy it or look closer at it, um, but you don't know where the links are. That's what this button's for. This is going to bring up the description and some settings here. So if you click on the description, it's going to bring up all of the information that is normally under a regular video. And if you click on show more, you'll be able to see everything here, including we have uh, the links right here. So you would just highlight and then right click, copy, and then you can go paste that into your browser to find that product. All right. Um, also for ease, we have been trying to remember to put the links in the comment section of the shorts as well. So look for the pinned comments from My Porch Prints on any of our videos and we should also have the listing link there for you as well. And then if you want to continue looking at shorts, um, you don't have to go back to the main page. You can actually just like start scrolling down and it'll bring up all of the videos from that channel, just one after the other, and you can kind of just scroll through and find what you're looking for. And then if you want to get back to the channel from this, you can just click on the little channel icon down here in the left corner, and that'll take you right back to the shorts tab on the uh, homepage. All right, so next we have another very important uh, section that I think a lot of people kind of overlook, which is our playlists. So we have tons of different playlists available for you guys that we've been putting together um, since we started the channel, really. So sometimes if, let's say, you are working on one of our journal series, uh, for example, the Sepia and Ivory Junk Journal series was really popular. And you saw, let's say you saw one of the last videos, the decorating video, but you wanted to see how to put together the cover. Well, if you go under playlists and find the playlist for that journal series, you can click on it. And once you click on that, it's going to bring up uh, the first video in the series. But you can see over here to the right 
is that playlist uh, box and it's got all of the videos in the series on it. So you can sort of see what it is you might be looking for. Um, so we have the decorating, we have the cover, we have the flip through and we have the what's in my kit for that sepia and ivory journal kit. So it's all of the videos in the series that you might be looking for and they're right there in a playlist that you can just kind of go through one at a time um, and find everything that you're looking for. So the playlist area is really helpful. We have series for individual journals. Um, so like the naturalist journal, the sepia and ivory journal, the daydream and green journal, all of those have their own playlist, but we also have some playlists for like specific types of crafts. So for example, our movement and dimension playlist has over 40 videos in it. And this has a lot of our various uh, tutorials in it. Um, we also have like a uh, playlist for beginners who might be new to junk journaling. So we have an entire playlist dedicated with videos that might be easy for you if you're just getting started. Uh, Craft With Me has pretty much all of our videos in it um, from various crafts that we've been working on. Same with junk journal tutorials that has a lot of videos. So if you're kind of looking for something specific or maybe you want to check out the what's in my kids videos or anything like that, um, junk journal flip throughs, we have lots of playlists here. We're going to keep making more as the channel continues to grow. So if there's like a playlist you'd like to see, don't be afraid to speak up and let us know, hey, it'd be really nice if there was an entire playlist for this. Um, and we will try to make that happen. But currently, these are the ones that we have, like if you're looking for some Christmas crafts, anything like that, come check out our playlists and uh, see if these might be uh, what you're looking for. All right, next we're going to jump under the community tab. Um, this is something that we've been utilizing a lot more recently. Uh, the community tab is kind of like if you've been on Facebook or something like that, people will make posts about what's going on in their lives. Well, My Porch Prince also does that. Um, we make posts about upcoming projects and various uh, new product drops. Um, sometimes when new videos drop or we'll give you sneak peeks on like upcoming projects and things like that. Just whatever's going on as well as um, something you may really want to pay attention to here would be sales. We do drop sale information under the community tab. Now this might show up for you under your home page. It's more likely to show up if you have notifications turned on. So real fast, just to talk about notifications here under the home button. Um, if you subscribe, when you click on subscribe here, uh, it's going to have like a little bell icon or it's going to say like, turn on notifications question mark. And you'll want to make sure that you do that. So when you subscribe, also turn on notifications. And that means whenever we drop a video or a post, you're going to be more likely to see it in your feed, as well as you might even have like a little bell icon up here in the corner that'll pop up with like a red one or something like that. And it'll notify you that we have just dropped a new video, a new product, a new post, something like that, that you might be interested in seeing. So if you don't want to miss any products or miss any videos, that's the best way to ensure that that doesn't happen. Um, and of course, because if you have a lot of subscriptions, um, they won't be able to show you a notification for every single channel. You'd have over a million notifications every day, every second. So sometimes you might want to just come and check out the homepage and kind of look under these tabs and make sure that you haven't missed something just in case, uh, if you would be interested in something and you didn't want to miss it. All right, so uh, another quick thing about the community tabs, just to show you how to navigate the posts. Um, sometimes we'll have more than one picture in a post here and you can navigate that by clicking on these little arrow buttons and that'll give you a little bit more of a preview of what you're looking at here. Um, we also have the links to our products usually, but if you click on read more, um, sometimes we'll have something extra posted there as well. So make sure that you click on that so you're not missing any extra information. And then of course, like, dislike, and then the comment section, um, we'll see people uh, like Melinda here who has left us a nice little lovely comment. Um, you can go ahead and leave a comment down here or a question or something like that if you'd like to. All right, and then there's a channels tab. This isn't necessarily very relevant. It just kind of shows you what channels uh, this channel is subscribed to or who they follow. So if you're interested in finding maybe some other crafting channels, you might be able to find something under there if you're interested. Um, but 
more relevant would actually be the about tab which is going to give you a little description of the channel, at least for us it does. And we also list all of our links. If you want to connect with us, you can find that here and just kind of copy and paste these links. If you'd like to follow us on Etsy, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, you can connect with us on pretty much any of those sites. Um, and that's just kind of like a quick little link if you're looking to uh, find a way to connect with us a little bit more. And of course, we always have our Facebook group here right at the very top in case you're looking for a quick way to get to that from our YouTube page. All right, so next I'm gonna be covering uh, in depth kind of like how to navigate an actual video. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here to the videos and there's this little arrow button on the side and I'm gonna go try to find a tutorial that has uh, some timestamps in it. Let's see here, try this one. All right, so taking a look at a uh, single video here, I'm gonna kind of go over the complete layout really fast. So we've got the main video taking up the greater portion of the screen here. On the far right, um, we have all of these different videos. These are gonna be what YouTube thinks are the most relevant videos uh, based on what you're currently watching. So you can find other videos to watch here. And then for the video itself, um, it has this little icon uh, down in the lower right corner here. If you click on this, it's going to take you back to the home page. So if you just mouse over it, it's going to bring up uh, the option to subscribe. So you can always click on that if you'd like. Um, you can also get back to the home page for the icon down in this uh, right corner here. And there's also a subscription button right next to that as well. Now, uh, your main buttons for this video are going to be the play button. This is going to play and pause the video. Um, this video is gonna take you to the next relevant video that YouTube thinks you might like. Um, this is your uh, audio button. If you click it, it will mute the audio, and if you unclick it, it will play the audio normally. And then this little slider is just the volume here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this muted for now. And then you have um, this autoplay button just decides whether the next video automatically starts playing once this video is done. Um, I usually have this turned off, but you can leave it on if you want. And then you've got some of your subtitles if you would like to have that as well as settings. So I am gonna go over a couple of settings here that you might not have been aware of. So first thing would be playback speed. We've had some people comment that the video seems too slow or too fast. It seems to really vary depending on individual preference, um, but you can change this. So if you click on this little arrow here, um, if you click any of these first three videos, it's going to make it slower by that much speed. So it changes it down to 75%, 50%, 25% speed. And then you can also change it by 125%, 150%, 175%, and 200% speed. So if you play it at, for example, two, and I click play right now, you can see that my movements are a lot faster. So it's just really speeding up the video and you can see this timer down here, which is the length of the video is moving much faster than normal. So that'll make the video go quicker if you're just kind of in a hurry and want to see what's happening. Um, or on the other hand, you can go down to like 0.5 and play. And now you can see when I hit play, the video is going much slower. So this might be good for some of you during those portions that we speed up our videos. If you're trying to really see what's happening, you can always slow the video down and it might make it a little easier to see exactly what's going on. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to normal here. And then um, another uh, setting that you may want to check out is quality. So it has an auto quality. And what this is, is it's basically just making the quality fit your current internet speed. So sometimes if your internet speed is uh, not doing very well, it will drop the quality of the video to make sure that it continues to play. But sometimes then the video looks really grainy and it's just not very good quality. So if you want to, you can always change that from auto to HD quality or maybe 720. Um, either one of these is gonna look a lot better. So let me see if I can show you here. So this is it at the lowest quality setting. You can see that it gets pretty grainy and it's kind of hard to see what's going on here. So if you notice that that's happening, you can use a little bit more of your computer's power and you can do something like 1080, which is a lot crisper. 
So that's going to kind of depend on your internet, but I tend to keep things at high def quality just because it looks a lot nicer and it's easier to see what's going on. All right, so mini player just shrinks the video down into the bottom corner of uh, your screen. So if you're trying to look at other things, but have that playing in the background, you can kind of do that. Um, theater mode is going to make the screen a lot wider. So if you want something to look a lot larger, you can always click on that button and get like a little bit more uh, screen. And same with this button here is full screen. So that's gonna fill up your entire computer monitor screen with the video. So if you're trying to get a really good look at what's going on, uh, that might be helpful for you. Okay. All right. So um, that is kind of the main settings on the video. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll down and take a look here at uh, the description box. All right. So with the description box, it's just this little gray box. You can tell that it's the description box because it has this, this border here in like a lighter gray when you mouse over it. And it just has like a little tiny preview here of what's going on in this box. But if you click more, that description box is going to really expand and it's going to show you everything that is relevant to this video. And you can tell that this is all in the description box because it still has this gray border around it. And you'll know that the description box ends when it goes dark like this. Okay. And if you open all this up and you don't want it to be open anymore, you can always just click show less and it will automatically shut it for you. Okay. So we're going to open that up and take a little look at our description box here. So when you come to our video, we usually do like a little intro, just telling you what it's about and kind of like a welcome here. And then underneath that, we always have our Etsy link. So you can just click on this. This is a hyperlink. That's why these are in blue. And basically that means if you click on them, they're going to automatically take you to that website. So if you click on this, it's going to take you over to Etsy from here. Okay. Um, so I believe it will open in a new tab. It should. So you should still have your YouTube tab open. It shouldn't shut that down. Um, it might just depend on your browser settings though. All right, so we've got the link to our shop and then we have our information. We get this question pretty much constantly. So for everybody that's been looking, um, this is where we list uh, what kind of paper we use, what kind of printer we use. And we also have a uh, blog post about our printer and paper and all of that information on our blog. So you can always click on this link and learn way more about that if you are interested. So this is under every single video. So if you guys are curious, we always have it right here if you want to check that out. Um, we also have a playlist uh, link here for you. If you are new to junk journals, this will always be under our videos. You can just click on this and it'll take you over to our, uh, our playlist for beginner junk journalers um, and you can kind of learn what you need to learn there. We also have this little section here that is the same as under the uh, like get to know us tab on our YouTube channel. It's just all of our links where you can connect with us if you're interested in checking out like our Pinterest or joining, uh, joining our Facebook group. Um, you can always do that here and our Facebook group, we do give away freebies. So please consider joining if you'd like. Um, you do have to answer all of the questions to join the group, but once you do that, you should be let in. All right. And then this is going to be kind of an important section. Um, whenever you watch one of our videos, uh, if you're looking for any of the products that we have used in that tutorial, all of the products will always be listed right here under my porch prints kits from today's tutorial. Okay. So anything you're looking for should be right here. Okay. All the relevant kits. Um, I also tend to take these and copy them and post them in a pinned comment in the comment section. I'll show you that in a little bit, but if you're ever looking for them, if they're not in the comment section, they should be right here. Okay. And then we also have our video links. So our video links might be links to, um, what's in my kits or tutorials that are relevant to this video. So for example, in this video, I mentioned that I made a paperclip pocket. Um, that I put into this journal and that has its own tutorial. So you can always come down here and check out that tutorial by just clicking on this link and it'll automatically take you to that video and you can watch that tutorial and follow along. All right. We also have our crafting supplies that we use. So we have a complete list of junk journal supplies on our blog that we use regularly. Um, a lot of things like glue, brads, stuff like that. 
Um, but if we ever have an item that is not on that list, I will also add it under this section. For example, in this video, I used some small magnets. So I did go ahead and add a link to that. And these links are affiliate links. So if you click on them, we do earn a small commission. Um, and it just kind of helps us a little bit on our end. But of course, you don't have to do that. It's completely up to you. And then down at the very bottom here, this is where you're going to see timestamps. Now, there is... Um, a preview already on the actual video for these. So let me show you right here. If you look, this is kind of the little playback bar uh, that shows like your progress, like how far you are in the video. And you can see that ours are broken up into these little sections here that are named. So like this one says um, cheesecloth envelope pocket. And this one says 3D butterfly bookmark. And that just is us breaking these down into chapters that might help you find what you're looking for um, a little bit easier. So if let's say you came here just for the uh, front cover decorating, you can kind of mouse over, find that section and just watch that instead of having to scroll through the entire video to find what you're looking for. Not all of our videos have this, but some of them, especially if they're longer, will. So keep an eye out for that if possible. Um, and they're also down in this description box in a little more detail. So we've got the timestamps all listed out and titled, and you can just click anywhere that you want and it'll automatically take you right to that spot in the video. Okay. All right. So moving on to the comment section, this is this large area here. It'll say how many comments there are uh, right underneath the video. And this is where you can leave us a comment or a question if you want to, it's completely optional. Um, we do love hearing your comments, so make sure that if you want to leave one, feel free to. Uh, we do try to get to every single comment. Um, however, we get a lot of comments across all of our social media, and sometimes we don't get notified of your comment by YouTube just because of how many we get. So uh, if we happen to miss it, we apologize. Um, don't be afraid to maybe leave it again uh, if you think that maybe you've been missed and you really have a question that needs answered. However, um, the YouTube comment sections are something that I usually take uh, sort of ownership of. Stephanie does check them out uh, now and again. Um, but if you have like a comment pertaining to the project in the video or the video itself, this is the best place to leave that question. But if you have a question about your Etsy order or something like that, um, the best place to do that would be to get on Etsy Messenger and message Stephanie directly. She handles all of that information. So um, if you have a question about your order, please don't leave it in the YouTube comment section. Um, just for privacy purposes and also to make sure that uh, it gets answered by the person who can actually answer your question. <laughs> so this is more for comments pertaining to the video and then Etsy would be where you ask questions about your order. And you can also get in contact with us um, on Instagram as well, although usually we won't see that for a couple of weeks just because of how busy uh, Instagram is. So. Um, those are kind of like the different places that you can reach us as well as our Facebook group. So anywhere like that, you can reach us on all social media platforms, but um, they will be kind of a little bit different depending on what your question is. So try to use the relevant platform for your question if that's possible. Um, but otherwise you can also just leave a comment telling us about your day or your project you're working on, things like that we love to see. And in the comment section at the very top should be a pinned comment, usually, not always, but usually I try to remember, um, that has all of those links again for the project here. So you can just find whatever you might be looking for right there in the comment section. And again, these are hyperlinks. So you just click them and they will take you to the product automatically through the link. And then last but not least, um, if you do have a question, try to look through the comments first. It's very possible that we have already answered your question. So um, make sure that you kind of look there before posting just because it's more likely that you'll get an answer uh, versus, you know, if it's possible if you leave your question, we might miss it. So make sure that you look through and see it might have already been answered. All right, so moving over to the mobile version of the app. So this is the YouTube app that um, comes on iPhone if you download it through the store there. And uh, just going through here, everything should look very similar to the online version. It's just a little more 
vertical, but you will see the same channels, shorts, community posts, videos, all that kind of stuff uh, should right, be right there. Um, when you use the search bar at the top, you can just type in, for example, I put my porch prints and it showed uh, uh, all the videos as well as the channel. So same thing, you just click on the channel icon and it'll take you to the page where you have all of your um, usual little headers here and you can just go under all of those. The only header that is missing Thing is the search header so if you need to search for a video you'll have to go under the video tab and scroll through until you find what you're looking for and then when you find a video you want to watch you just click on it with your finger just tap on it and it will open up a video and instead of the settings being in the bottom right corner they're actually in the top so you can see here's the little setting wheel icon if you click on that it'll have all of those settings we talked about before can just go ahead and change them to your preferred preference. It also has um, some options for you to like save to a playlist or you can uh, access the description box here. It's just right under the video. It looks a little different but once you click on it you can see it's very similar. You just click on that uh, more tab and it will open up the full description box and it looks exactly the same as desktop. You've got all of your links here and if you want to you can just click on any of those hyperlinks and then choose whichever browser you want to use to open it and it will take you right to that page. So for example, here we have our blog post about our supplies and um, with these supply links, all you have to do is like click on one of the images and it will take you right to the product. And then when you're done, just hit done at the top and that will take you right back to your video. So it's really simple to get everything that you need. So you can access your subscribe button, you can access your settings, you can turn on notifications, you can do that from the video or from the home page and that's pretty much it. So not too different from desktop. All right, so that is going to complete today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you found this helpful and we will see you in the next video.